Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create resource pool in Resource Governor of SQL Server. We'll be using two ways to do it, using SQL Server Management Studio, Studio Graphic User Interface and using T-SQL Script. In this video, we'll be learning resource pool for different application connecting to SQL Server instance, that is single SQL, a SQL Server instance. Maybe you have four application that is connecting to a single server, uh, a SQL Server instance, and you have the databases uh, of those four applications. So how we distinguish, how we isolate the physical uh, resources of SQL Server between those applications so that uh, every application will be balanced in terms of physical resources of SQL Server and number two we will be learning how to configure CPU usage which is part of physical resource of uh, SQL Server we will be configuring minimum uh, CPU of for one application and maximum CPU for uh, that application and again we'll be doing the same thing with the configuration of memory uh, memory is also part of physical resource of SQL Server so we'll be you know, basically uh, controlling that uh, application a can take uh, this much memory and application uh, B can take this much memory. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Here's my SQL Server instance. In order to uh, go to SQL Server um, Resource Governor, you can go ahead and expand the management. And up here is Resource Governor. Keep in mind that uh, Resource Governor, in order for it to operate efficiently or operate at all, it has to be enabled. By default, resource governor is disabled. So right now it's enabled, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, create a resource pool. When you uh, first time install SQL Server, uh, there are two default, default and internal resource pools gets created with the installation of SQL Server. And they are used internally by the internal um, uh, SQL Server um, processes. So we're going to go ahead and create a user defined resource pool. Right click on the pool and click on new pool. As you can see right here, uh, first up here is a classifier function name. Right now it's none and we will be creating classifier function in another demo and then we will be using uh, uh, this. Keep in mind that this is a, a resource governor suite video so you have to watch all the videos in order to take advantage of uh, uh, the resource governor uh, usage in SQL Server. So we'll be uh, creating um, classifier function name uh, in uh, classifier function in SQL Server uh, in another demo. So right now we're just concentrating in this video creating the different resource pools. So right here by default as I said that these uh, are default and internal you can go ahead and basically um, uh, go to the um, default and change that but you cannot do the internal right here which is internal. Let me go ahead and As you can see that I can change the default. Let me go ahead and try to do internal. So internal cannot be modified. So let's go ahead and uh, create our own pool. I'm going to go ahead and report queries. These are the queries mostly in SQL Server when um, you have different reports and they are uh, OLTP reports. They are coming to your OLTP data and uh, reading the data from your live uh, databases in SQL Server instance those reports can be really resource intensive so we want to limit those reports um, using resource governor so we want to limit the um, physical resources such as CPU and memory right now so we're gonna go ahead and minimum memory zero that is fine I want to any report queries and later on we'll find that how we can figure out that these are report queries so um, right now just we're creating the resource pool so report queries I want uh, CPU maximum it CPU it should take is 50% and rest of the 50% CPU should be uh, with other applications and for processing the request of other applications minimum memory is zero that's fine the same thing with the maximum memory we're going to give it 50% memory that it should take 50% memory of SQL Server the other resource pool we want to create is finance applications so some of the finance application comes in SQL Server and they are also using Excel and um, grabbing all the data from SQL Server you wanted to limit that as well so we're gonna go ahead and finance application we're gonna go give 25% CPU for those um, and we're going to go ahead and give 
40% memory for those uh, particular um, finance uh, app related queries in SQL Server. So basically this is how we create a resource pool using SQL Server um, uh, Management Studio and we're gonna go ahead and click OK. So as you can see if you refresh that you will see that there are two user-defined resource pools finance app and uh, report queries. In next demo we'll be doing the uh, workloads and we will be relating the workloads uh, based on which uh, workload belongs to which resource pool we will be doing that so let me go ahead and delete these resource pools right now and uh, we will be doing the same thing using our T-SQL script so let me load the T-SQL script right here so as you can see it's fairly simple create resource pool and uh, you give the name with the minimum CPU and maximum CPU just exactly like we did in SQL Server Management Studio and affinity uh, schedule is auto we have not set affinity uh, uh, of uh, SQL Server so CPU affinity or memory affinity IO affinity I'm sorry so it's still auto that's okay we're right now we're concentrating on minimum uh, or controlling cpu and memory usage for certain applications so this is our uh, second application we're going to go ahead and run the script as soon uh, command completed successfully as soon as i refresh the resource governor up here and expand the resource pool you will see that these two uh, resource um, pools are created so this is how basically we create resource pools in um, resource governor of SQL Server and uh, using SQL Server Management Studio graphic user interface and T-SQL script. And I hope this video helps.